PJ Moran is my name, and I'm, I'm just here to introduce to you uh, the method by which the big bag system works. Now, it's a very practical system, so the presentation will be of a practical and, and uh, non-technical nature. Uh, the big bag uh, flood defence system is a quick, simple and cost-effective alternative to sandbags and other uh, previously conventional uh, defence systems. Uh, it's a first-line uh, system and it's the first line of defence uh, in any flooding situation. To introduce the Big Bang system, uh, it's an innovative uh, flood protection system developed for fast, simple and effective use uh, in case of flooding. Uh, it's a sixth generation product development uh, which is patented in the US and in Europe and is now being introduced uh, locally here by the uh, Jerry and, and Shane and their company. Uh, the system, uh, when I saw it first, is so simple that it's, it's uh, difficult to uh, think why somebody didn't think of it before now. It consists of five individual big bags, as they're called, which are factory mounted, extending to an overall length of 4.5 metres. It's essentially five bags uh, tied together, uh, each of 0.9 metres in length, 0.9 metres in height, uh, giving you the 4.5 metre length. It's also 0.9 metres in, uh, in depth. Uh, and the 0.9 metres in depth has the effect of allowing you to have sufficient self-weight of sand, uh, ensuring stability uh, in the event of uh, whatever lateral pressure the system is subjected to due to uh, uh, water being retained on the water side. The system can be set up in a matter of minutes on site. Uh, it arrives on site with the junction frame uh, loosely in place. Now the junction frame consists of uh, timber lats uh, at the intersection between the bags and the entire system is, is based on sealing that joint to ensure that seepage through the joint is minimised so that the overall uh, amount of water uh, seeping through from the water site can be minimised and controlled. Uh, the systems are then connected together with four conventional screws uh, just to ensure the adequacy of the uh, joint at the intersection or at the interface between the respective individual bags. Okay. Um, the system is uh, deployed as the first line defence barrier and only two persons are necessary or two operatives are necessary uh, for its uh, installation. Uh, after setting up the system the bags can be filled immediately. Uh, the filling can be carried out by means of whatever filling device is available, be it a concrete mixer, uh, front loader, an excavator or whatever machine is available. Um, by filling on the site, the best possible sealing is attained. Now that's, that comes down to a practical aspect of the thing rather than any technical aspect. In so far as the, the, um, as the adequacy of the overall system is highly dependent on the, the uh, intersection, as I said, between the bags and the interface between the bags and the ground uh, being sealed to the best possible extent. Uh, and that's the, the weight of the sand uh, will have a major bearing and the packing of the individual uh, bales making up the big bank system will have a major bearing on that and that's from a practical rather than any technical point of view. Uh, the mobile flood protection system does not require any uh, structural measures. It's simply a matter, as you will see uh, in the demonstration, the practical demonstration afterwards, simply a matter of, of rolling out the bags, of filling them and of uh, being ready, getting ready for the, as your first line defence mechanism. Uh, as I've already said, the, the system contains a five individual special big bags with four lifting straps uh, which are uh, applied or attached to the bags in order to facilitate the cleanup. Uh, for the cleanup, now after uh, when the uh, flooding has abated or when the, when the risk has uh, uh, gone, uh, for the removal or the cleanup, only a machine operator and a banksman or an operative is required as no manual lifting is necessary to complete the operation. Uh, the cleanup can be an extremely fast process. Now, due to the simplicity of the cleanup, there is no impact on the environment or the architectural landscape, and labour resources are kept to a minimum by virtue of the fact that it's restricted to the machine operative and a helper, essentially. Uh, the sand in the bags is protected by virtue of the fact that there is a polypropylene sealant uh, on the water side of the bag. Uh, while the remainder of the bags are filtered to allow subsequently for rainwater to seep from the bags. Uh, the factor uh, should be noted 
uh, by larger civil uh, contractors as well because it affords the opportunity uh, for the bags to be used for alternative uses uh, of a more widespread basis such as coffer dams or for uh, temporary uh, flood or temporary uh, water retention or water uh, prevention. Just on, on that, just to, to expand one little bit on the, uh, the bag, uh, essentially it's a sack, but on the water side of the sack, that's on the surface of the bag, which is going to be in contact with the water, uh, there is a polypropylene uh, additive uh, inserted, uh, interspersed with the fabric on that side of the bag to act as a water repellent, so that effectively uh, that also serves to prevent any pollutants uh, in the uh, water in the, in the flood water from entering the sand, so that effectively the sand is maintained uh, such that it can be recycled and reused. And the rest of the bag then, uh, being porous, allows for water in the sand to filter out of the bag subsequently in the event of an operative or a, a subsequent owner of this system wanting to recycle and reuse the system. Okay. Um, now, just as a comparison of the sandbags, which was the more conventional method that everybody normally uh, has recourse to in the event of a flooding risk, uh, to compare the sandbags to the big bag system. First of all, in the big bag system, uh, it only takes a few minutes, as will be uh, demonstrated to you in the uh, demonstration, the practical uh, thing out <coughs> the back, it only takes a few minutes to fill the system. Uh, when you think of that, and compare it to the operation involved in getting any kind of a comparable amount of sandbags in situ. Uh, there's the, the job of sourcing the bags, of filling the bags, there's multiple handling of the bags, and obviously uh, there's a, you know, it's, it's a fairly labor-intensive uh, operation which involves uh, not skilled labor, but uh, the bags can be heavy, especially when they become saturated. So there is a, there is a, a huge comparison and a huge contrast in the relative labor intensity involved in the comparative operations. Um, one 4.5 meter bag system, that's one of the five uh, bags, uh, can be fully uh, expanded. Uh, they contain about 3.65 cubic meters of sand in filling one system, uh, which equates to 670 sandbags, having regard to the normal way in which the sandbags would be put together and uh, structurally stacked. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I've already uh, said, the sand in the system can be recycled by virtue of the fact that the polypropylene uh, compound on the water side of the bag uh, renders the, the, um, that uh, side of the bag impervious so that uh, pollutants in the flood water uh, does not come in contact with the sand. On the, on, in the alternative, sand used in the sandbags, in the event of contaminants being present, uh, will be contaminated and the sand will have to be disposed of of necessity. Uh, and while it's not, it's not the primary use of the big bank system, the bags can be used as a permanent uh, levy or a permanent uh, flood prevention measure. Uh, just a few more facts. Um, the, the big bags within the system are 0.9 by 0.9 by 0.9. Uh, the little video you saw previously before I started uh, mentioned feet. This 0.9 comes from the foot system, which was, I may be correct in this, but which would have been originally patented and developed in the US where they still work in the feet and the imperial system, whereas in the EU we have reverted uh, completely to the metric system. So we're talking about 0 0.9 by 0 0.9 by 0 0.9 uh, for each individual bag. Uh, and when you put the five of them together, we get the 4.5 meter length, uh, giving you 3.65 cubic meters of sand uh, for one system of five bags. Now, to protect a region from flooding, uh, the frontline defense system of this nature can be deployed over a distance of a thousand meters quickly and efficiently. And again, the demonstration uh, will uh, illustrate that and uh, show how that can be operated much more quickly and much more efficiently than any amount of talk that I might do here. Um, 